Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, why is trisodium phosphate, known as TSP, added to the foods we eat? Now, trisodium phosphate is an industrial cleaning product used as a degreasing agent, mildew remover, and lead abating agent, and to clean interior and exterior walls before painting because of its alkalizing cleaning properties TSP was used in dishwashing soap and laundry detergent until it was phased out in 2011 after the EPA found that it was harmful to the environment the clean water act published by the EPA lists TSP as a hazardous substance while the CDC, known as the Center for Disease Control, recommends to avoid all contact. The CDC lists these TSP ingestion symptoms. Abdominal pain, burning sensation, shock, or collapse. Now, why is TSP used in the foods we eat. Well, TSP is most commonly used to reduce acidic nature of foods, especially breakfast cereals, as it modifies cereal color and aids in the cereals flow through the extruder. Now, other uses are TSP is added to meat to retain moisture during storage and cooking. TSP also acts as a leveling agent, that's a leavening agent, to fluff up foods like cakes, breads, and baked goods. TSP is also added to cheese to help keep its shape and melting properties. TSP is also used as an antimicrobial cleaner for washing produce. Poultry is dipped in a TSP solution to potentially kill off bacteria. Now, why should we, as people, avoid food that contains TSP? Now, TSP stands for trisodium phosphate. Studies have shown that ingesting high levels of phosphate, the major mineral in TSP, can cause kidney damage, soft tissue, calcification, and removal of calcium from bones. Chronic high levels of phosphate intake can result in osteopenia and ultimately osteoporosis. TSP also irritates the stomach and intestinal lining as well as reduces lactic acid in muscles. Now what foods contain TSP? Breakfast cereals seem to be the products that contain the most TSP. Now note, that you may also see sodium phosphate, disodium phosphate, and tripotassium phosphate on a label instead of trisodium phosphate. These also cause the same problems as TSP. Now, what I'm explaining to you all, and this did occur, there's a cereal out called banana nut cereals. And some of the children's foods, they involved having amounts of trisodium phosphate added to them. Now, I want everybody to understand what you're eating is ingested with a lot of chemicals. You just don't know it. So what I'm doing is giving you the information so you be aware of what kinds of food you're eating and what to eat and what not to eat. Now, there are other foods out there like genetic engineered foods known as GMOs. But when it comes to phosphate, you must understand that it is a cleaning compound. Now, what I don't understand is the EPA says TSP is hazardous to the environment, but the CDC tells all of us as humans, 
or peoples to avoid it. So why does the FDA allow it in our food and personal care products? That's an answer that I don't have right now. Unless there's money involved. Because when you have government and you have private partnerships together, you must be suspicious of what's going on, of the agendas. Now, when it comes to the foods we eat, you should find out if anything you eat has been tampered with. A lot of us seem to don't look at it. We base everything we eat as being real. With science, you can make any type of food you want. You can make cabbage if you want to. And one must remember that a lot of our foods contain some type of chemical. This is why I don't urge people to eat canned vegetables or, or canned fruits. Canned fruits have a lot of preservatives, a lot of the sugars in the syrup. And there's preservatives added to that. In fact, a lot of these cans are vacuum cans because the cans are supposed to keep air out of the food source so it lasts longer. But of course this video is not about cans. But when you see any chemical added to a food, my suggestion is don't eat it because it's not good for you, especially if you don't know what the chemical is. Now a lot of these chemicals are added to make the foods look appealing. That's my personal opinion of it. Of course, when it comes to any food, whether you're baking cake, you're eating meat, I urge you to take the time to read the labels. Be smart about your shopping. Just don't put anything in your cart. See if trisodium phosphate is listed in the ingredients label. If it is, be smart and don't buy it. Because, again, it could lead to soft tissue, calification, Removal of calcium from bones, of course, osteoporosis, intestinal lining, and your stomach will become irritated. So, this trisodium phosphate has health effects attached to it. And I'm making this video to make you aware of what you are consuming in your body. So take the time and read every label before you purchase a food item. Because everything that you buy might seem good, it might look good on the outside, but remember, looks are deceiving. You want to make sure that the produce you buy is natural and of course to get rid of bacteria chemicals are sprayed on the produce produce is washed so let's be honest a lot of the produce can come with worms bugs and there has to be some type of chemical to kill the bugs because none of us want to go buy an ear of corn, you peel it, and there's worms in it. Although, when you actually go buy food from a farm, that could happen. But 
any type of chemical that you don't know about in any food that you're going to eat. Please don't purchase it. Because that chemical in that food is not good for you. And it can cause some health effects. And it's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show for this evening, Friday, June 2nd, 2017. You can tune into the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215 383 5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube, so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I don't engage in emotion, debates, or any controversial issues, nor do I participate in drama and unnecessary bickering. Why? Because it's counterproductive. This channel is an educational channel. I research the information and I also present the information to you from my own experience. Now, the information is real, but positive. Because if you're living in the real world, it fluctuates. Like a sine wave goes up and down, or like a roller coaster. And if you don't have the education and the knowledge of the real world, going to struggle. So, what I'm going to tell you is, don't be afraid to come to my channel because I'm giving you information. That's why I call this channel the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. Because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. And if you have a business, a topic, or a new YouTube channel that you would like for me to talk about on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, Please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comments in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy. No bloviating, pettifogging, or filibustering if you wish to opine. Now that's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other. Have a wonderful and blessed evening. Good night.